Hello and welcome back to the Average today. We're going to be doing some paper art. Bam, bam, bam. Um, yeah, I've done paper art before, as you can see from this footage. I did a paper art. This one for my old comic called Emily is Burning. I really liked it, so I was thinking I want to do the same for the comics that I'm working on now. At the moment I'm working on two comics, Picture This and String. And String is about a haunted water park and I wanted to do something, I wanted to do something involving that and I thought it would be fun so let's get started. Do you like comics and stickers and you, you don't know where to buy them and, and you just, you can't even know? Well check out the link down below because there's some amazing <laughs> quality products for you to lay your hands on today so the first thing i want to do is sketch probably be a good idea out the areas that i want i've done like a little tiny thumbnail sketch in my sketchbook this is kind of how i want it to be but i need to kind of figure it out here like proportions wise I like the idea of having lots of little cutout bits. I really want to just not necessarily give anything away of the story, but just emulate the story a little bit, just like hint at the story of what we're going for here. You know, I'm just doing like basic, super basic blocking out of where everything's gonna go. Paint in the sky and then we'll see where we're at. I haven't used watercolors in so long. I'm just used to using gouache now. I think it will be nice to have that sort of same vibe as the other one I did for Emily is Burning. In the meantime, I have this tracing paper and as that's drying, I want to cut out some clouds because I used tracing paper before and I liked it. So we're going to be using it again. <laughs> I want two big clouds. Ooh, smudge the paint a lot. Oh my gosh, maybe if we layer them, that would be really cute because it would be like... But how would I layer? Oh, I guess I got put stick. But if I make loads of circles and then just like place them on top of each other, that would look really cute, I think. Of course not. Why would that pop out? That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, I've got this like stick scalpel and uh, yeah, it's kind of old, but haven't done paper art in a while. So I'm hoping I can just get it to work. And in the other one, I keep going on about the other one, in the uh, Emily's Burning one, sure, it looks a bit rough around the edges. There's some bits where the cutting is not so great, but I kind of like it, you know what I mean? I kind of like that kind of rough aesthetic. It's like, speaks to me. <laughs> I think this is literally broken now. I'm not sure how I managed that, but maybe I can washi tape it together. Ta da! If you come here for like a nice relaxing time to watch somebody make like a paper art, like relaxing collage, think again because that's just not me. Is this dry yet? It's taking forever. I'm sick of it. Okay, yeah, I really like the ideas of the ideas, the idea of layering these clouds. So let's just like do a load of clouds. I don't know, I kind of like that. It's going to show up on camera. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so broken. <laughs> I'm thinking what I want to do is take the back of this Arches Acroel colour and make it the backing of this whole thing. Pruitt stick. Did anybody do that thing when you were younger where you made like cobwebs with Pruitt stick? Glued your fingers up but then you like got them like that and you put them over there. I used to do that all the time in school. You can tell that I was a really studious student. Uh, I don't know, is, is that a universal thing that everyone used to do or is that just like some weird thing that I've just told you about that? I'm pretty sure everyone in my school used to do it, so it's not just me, but maybe it's just the area that I came from. But I really like this orange. So let's see if we can make like a nice, sort of luminous kind of vibe to this one because we are in a hot, place in summer it's sweltering sun is up and you're in a haunted water park hooray for you can't be bothered to wait i blew my clouds away that was clever wasn't it i think i'm just gonna put a layer of gouache over the top of this sky because it's too see-through showing the pencil mark
Okay, steadily getting there. I've cut out some bits to add some bushes around that area. So I'm just gonna glue that down with Pritt stick because I think it, it will work that way. Ugh, too much rubbish on my desk. I want a slide here. So I'm gonna like add some depth to that. I want this to be like water over the top. So I'm just gonna glue this down. I've also made this slide, but I'm not really like super happy with it. I need to paint it a little bit more, but it's gonna be in the distance. So I suppose like maybe if we just have it like over here. Now just adding the final touches to this. I mean, I could probably add like stuff um, and <laughs> keep adding and adding, but uh, I need to get this video up. And also I kind of like how it's looking. I just want to add like a few little details here and there. But yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if you like paper art. It causes such a mess. So I've got to clean all this up now, but I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. And I hope if you, like this video you will give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe all that jazz and see you next time bye